To all you black people talking about, oh, the white man's out to get you, or the white man is the root of all evil, you work for him. You fucking work for him. You, you're kissing his ass every day. The white man. Y'all always saying the white man is the root of all evil. But you son of a bitches are working for him. The white man. Quit saying white privilege. You know what white privilege is? It's not privilege. It's favoritism. It's called nepotism. Of course, a white man is going to pick another white man of his own kind in his business before he picks another person of another race. Of course. It's called nepotism. That's what you black people should do instead of working for another fucking man. You, why 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 are you so angry? Why are you so pissed off that you're trying to ask for confirmation into another man's kingdom, into another man's castle and get mad when he rejects you or picks one of his own before you? Of course. I I think that he should do that. To me that's that's a good thing to do. Nepotism, favoritism. If I had a business, of course I'm going to pick my own. Of course I'm gonna pick my friend before I pick some stranger. It doesn't even matter if my friend is not even qualified or the stranger's more qualified. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna pick my own. You, you black people, a lot of you black people have a slave mentality. You think working for another man is honorable. You look so damn stupid. You're talking about the white man is out to get you, but you're the main one kissing his ass every day. You're making him richer while you're taking the scraps. You're building no foundation for your kids. You're building no foundation for your legacy. You're working for the white man. Why don't you start your own shit? Why don't you start your own business so you can hire other black people? You can use your black money so other people can spend their black money at your black business. People look so fucking stupid. You, you you talking about the white man is out to get you, but you'll be the main one to shun a black man opening up a business. When a black man open up a business, when a black man become an entrepreneur, y'all fucking laugh at him. Y'all always the main, y'all got a slave mentality. You thinking it's good working for another man? You think it's good calling another man boss? You, you think you, you talk shit about the white man, but you kiss his fucking ass. That's, that looks so stupid and so hypocritical. You look like a fool when you do that shit. Dang. It's that crab in a barrel mentality, that crab in a bucket mentality. You know, you know why black people don't hold wealth in this country? You know why black people don't hold any weight? You know why? Because they don't have wealth. And you know why? Because they're working for the white man. They're working for another man. You put 20... How do you feel? You put 15, 20 years into a business and your kid can't even get a job there if he wanted to. You're not building a foundation. You're spending your money at the white man's business. You're making him richer. You're working for the white man. But you'll be the first one to make fun of a black man for opening his business. He he's selling. I see he um he's selling hot dogs. He got a hot dog stand or a snow cone stand. He sell his snow cones for two fifty. The white man sell his for one fifty because he has an entire entire populace of white people. The majority of the population is white, so he has more people backing him up. But the black man he's he's gonna sell it for a little more expensive because he's trying to get it out of the mud. He's trying to start it up. And you fucking black people, not all of y'all, but a lot of y'all, and I see it. A lot of y'all, y'all gonna make fun of the black man. They're gonna be like, what the fuck this nigga think he is? Who the fuck this nigga think he is? Selling them, them high ass snow cones. Hey, I could just go buy from the white man. And that's why y'all don't have shit. That's why y'all don't fucking have shit. you never wanna support a fucking entrepreneur. Y'all always wanna make fun of entrepreneurs. Y'all gonna just be the same dumb ass idiots to go spend all your fucking money at, a, at the white man's business and then complain about, oh, the white man, he out to get you. You're fucking working for him. You making him richer. You're kissing his ass. You're not accumulating wealth for your legacy to build a foundation, to build an entire black owned infrastructure. No, you're encouraging people to go work for the white man that you're saying is out to get you. You fucking dumb hypocrite.
people, black people got a, a crab in the bucket mentality, man. They, they see a, a black man trying to make it out to make opportunities for other black people or other people in general, and they want to fucking shun him. They want to down him. I don't give a fuck with, with how many watches this man got or how many cars this guy. It's his fucking money. He could buy whatever the fuck he wants with it. How about you fucking do the same shit? How about you try to start your own shit instead of working for another fucking man and for your entire life being miserable and getting fucking scraps? You're hustling for a fucking weekend. But they want to fucking complain and then make fun of everybody else trying to get a, trying to make their own shit, trying to be their own fucking boss. It's fucking pitiful, man. It's fucking sad. I, I think black people of all people would, would, from, would realize from slavery that no, man, we should fucking realize that Man, we need to own our own shit so we won't have to answer to another man. So we won't have to alter ourselves and, and you know, you know, make ourselves different for the appeal or the opinion of another man. So I don't have to kiss another man's ass. So I don't have to cut my hair and shave my face and wear certain clothes to kiss another man's ass and make him richer while I'm getting the little fucking scraps, pennies on a dollar and being miserable and having a structured fucking schedule and, and busting my ass for a fucking weekend for the rest of my life. I think black people of all people would, would realize that. But it seems like, no, they, they look like they're the only ones that, that don't realize it. I mean, I seen a Chinese guy, a Chinese man, he just said it straight up. Yeah, I fucking rather, he said, I'd rather hire my own Chinaman, my own kind, than a white man or a black man. And to me, that's that's great. That's okay. To me, that's what you should do. Great, great. It's called favoritism. Don't say white privilege. It's called favoritism. They just have more white people supporting them because black people don't support themselves. Black people don't support each other. Black people don't support each other. They make fun of each other. That crab in the bucket mentality. Why, why don't you support your fellow black man? I don't care if he's a drug dealer. You, you got to support that drug dealer that's opening up that snow cone stand. Because he's trying to give opportunities to other people. And then it's going, you know, you support him, he support you. It's just a big thing, you, you know. People need to stop, get out that damn slavery mindset. That slave mindset, that slave mentality is fucking horrible. Somebody got to be somebody's slave. What? You a slave and you don't even fucking know it. Come on, man. Wake the fuck up, people, man. Wake the fuck up.